Hey guys, Mr. RCS back. Uh, sorry guys, I'm trying to get the light. Mm. Now you can see stuff. Not orange. Um, anyway, so, so guys, for the lack in videos, I've just totally been out of it. So, um, I'm here. A little update thing type. See, update things. Yeah, update thing. So, there it is. Uh, so, I'm on a CX10. Uh, so, of course, you guys see. Got, a, got that full line rear bumper on it now. Yeah, I got full line covered up from being out in the mud and stuff. But, so. This thing is, I'm getting, not this, but some of the, the one product I just bought, STI, or something like that, I don't know, but it was an aluminum front bumper, piece of shit, so I put it on, it was a dual screw one, so I had to take my, my servo mount. Uh, sorry guys, I'm really shaky. Um, I had to take the screw out, put a longer screw in, uh, so I could fit this and adjust my steering trim. So it was the first bad thing. Then I get to it, and where's my front bumper? So I got my front bump. I'm going to put my front bumper in it, right guys? And it took these posts back here and took well jump and to fit it in you it had to squeeze those in together like that so that's no fun that was the first bad thing and then the second thing was it did there was two holes right here I'll flip my truck around you see these two holes right here and right here to put screws down in to hold the bumper in place so it doesn't slide. Well, on the front bumper, uh, on the aluminum bumper mount, it came with screws, right? And any screw you tried to put, bungee cord. Any sh really bungee cord? Really? Fucking bitch. Any. Uh, um, so, but anyway. So, uh,. You would sl slide it in place, and you'd go to put screws down in, but the screws wouldn't go in. Is, is you would go to uh, is the actual screw part would go in to uh, lock into the like uh, so you could screw it down in the metal. It was like it wasn't threaded, and I, there was a screw stuck in there. I don't know where. Well, not that it's probably out in my mom's car because I was gonna return it. But, well, I am going to return it because it's a piece of junk. Um, so, and then, well, no, not really and then, but, so, I have to get another bumper mount. So I can mount my front bumper back on. Although, all over all the shit, got a battery charging. Um, my body. Yeah, it's muddy on the inside. Guys, I don't know if you guys know what this is, but you probably do. Don't know if you have them where you're at. I live in a... Hold on. It's really rainy out. I live in a neighborhood. Pretty big neighborhood. If you guys live in PA, you've probably heard of it. It's, uh... You know, probably haven't heard of the development, but you've heard of the park that is next to it. It's John Rudy State Park. Uh... I live in the development next to that, and, wait, what was I getting at? Oh yeah, we have a thing called retention ponds, where all your water goes when it starts to rain, like, a lot like that, and flood, and all that, and our th the retention pond way down at the bottom of the hill has this, uh, it's just always muddy, yeah, my wheel bearings are really bad. I need one of the new ones for that. I ain't supposed to do that. Anyway, 
Um, so, take it down. I, always, I like to take it down there. And we take it down there and we take the mud and stuff. It's pretty fun. Especially when your truck, your front drive shaft pops off and you have to, uh, and you're in two wheel drive and it just slings it all up over your body like that. I don't know, it's just fun to go down in there and uh, there's some rocks down in there. You just screw around taking mud in. I don't know, I think I've yet to make a video down there. I guess I'll have to sometime. Maybe today since it's muddy and raining and muddy and raining. So, <laughs> you guys know this. Still don't have this on. I took this off because I'd be like rock crawling and it would go come down and scrape on the rocks. And I don't also trailers being a beep hole right now. So and it's really making me mad. So I'm not using it right now. Um well, the axle so it's just there's the axle design on it sucks balls. I need to find a new way to do axles. But um anyway. If you guys haven't been subscribed to my channel for long, you guys don't know. This sits up under there, something like that. It sits, it slides in the, uh, slides over the chassis rails. The, those two go on top, and that one's in the middle. And then, you just have those slide over. Adjustable height, this thing's pretty cool. It's called a three racing hitch or something like that. I just know it's made by three racing. Um, let's check it. So, yeah, guys, I really don't know what to do about with the videos right now. I haven't had much to do. Um, that T Max is being a. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what's being. It's just being a pain in the ass. That's what it's being. Um, it, sometimes it'll start and it'll run great, and the next time you go to run it, it won't run. So it's just a big old pain in the butt right now. So, uh, alright guys, that's a little short video because I haven't put a video up in two months, which is really bad. Um, <laughs> so, alright guys, Mr. Arceatic signing out. See you guys.